Hi guys, I have already created all the pages of this college website. You can see this is the home page, then about page, then course page, then blog page and contact page with a contact form. Right now this website is on the local computer. So the next step is to upload this website on the online server so that anyone can see this website through a website name that means a domain name. To upload our website online, we need two things which is domain name and web hosting. To get the domain name and web hosting, just type this in your browser easytutorialspro.com slash hosting. Here on this web page, I have added four different web hosting providers that I have personally used which is Bluehost, Hostinger, HostGator and SiteGround. You can click on these buttons and go to their website and check the price plan. I have compared all the price and found that Hostinger is providing the web hosting at lowest price and we get the fastest web hosting with free SSL and free domain name. That's why I have written here cheapest. Whenever you buy the web hosting from my link, you will get an additional discount if you get any issue and need any help in setting up your domain name and web hosting, you can contact me on this email id info at easytutorialspro.com. That's why I recommend you to go through my link. So let's go with the hostinger. Just click on this button and it will take you to this website. Here on this website, just scroll down. Here you can see the best web hosting and these are the different price plan. The first one is single web hosting and this is premium web hosting. In the first one you can create one website and in this one you can create up to 100 websites. Here you get one email id and free SSL and here you can get free SSL and you can create any number of email id and in the first one you will not get any free domain name but in the premium web hosting you can get a free domain name. So if you have a plan to create more than one website you can go for the premium web hosting plan and if you just want to create a single website then you can go for the first one. So I will choose this one, I will click on the add to cart. From these buttons you can select the number of months you want to purchase this web hosting. If you will buy this web hosting for the longer duration you will get the maximum discount. You can see if you will buy it for 48 months you will get 70% off, you will buy for 24 months you will get 55% and if you buy for 12 months you will get 50% off. So let me go for this one 12 months plan. It means one year. I will recommend you to buy the web hosting for at least one year because if you will buy for one month again you have to renew it in the next month and in the renewal you will not get any discount. So it is best to buy this web hosting at least for one year. Just come down and here you can see a search box get more domains. So in this search box I will write the domain name that I want to purchase. So let me search one domain name here. I will write for skillseco.com. Let me write this domain name and click on the search button. And here it says domain is taken. It means this domain is not available so you can search for another domain name and let me search for this one skillseco.org you can search any other domain extension. Let me search this one and here it says domain available just click on this add to cart button then click on continue to cart. Now we are back in the shopping cart and here we have this web hosting and let's just scroll down you can see we have this domain registration for one year and it cost 655 if you want the domain name for free you can go for the premium plan so right now you can see the price is 2189 
so you can add one coupon code to get the additional discount so here just click on this I have a coupon click on this link and enter the coupon code so the coupon code is easy tutorials write this easy tutorials and click on the plus icon now you can see the price has been reduced right now it is 2091 here also you can see earlier it was 50% right now it is 54% after applying my coupon code now click on this button check out here it is asking to sign up or log in if you are new on this hosting here you can write the name email id and create an account i already have an account so i will go for the login and enter my email id and password i will click on the login so on this payment page you have lots of payment option almost everything you can pay using paypal upi id and uh, net banking paytm bitcoin and all the cards even you can pay through google pay you can see on the right side what you are getting for this you will get the single web hosting for 12 months ssl certificate which is zero cost cloudflare protection zero cost and domain registration for 12 months just confirm all these things then complete your payment through your favorite payment gateway so i will make this payment after completing the payment let's write the review here submit this one and click on start now here just click on this button select then here you have to select the country select personal then click on next step enter contact details so here you have to enter your personal contact details write everything then click on this button now on this page you have two options here build a new website and migrate my website so you don't have to go for any of this at the bottom you can see skip i will start from scratch so just go for this link i will start from scratch click on this link that's it and then click on this button finish setup you can see your website is ready control panel click here manage site click on this button so this is our web hosting control panel so the next step is to upload our website which is on the local computer so let's come back to our folder where we have already created our website so in this folder you can see we have all the HTML file, CSS file, images and PHP file but I told you we will set up the email also so open this PHP file let's open with text editor and in this file you can see email from so in this email from write the domain name so my domain name is skillseco.org so I am writing info at the rate skillseco.org it can be anything like uh, contact at your domain name no reply at your domain name anything you don't have to create this email id just write it here so i'm writing info at skillseco.org you can see this is my personal email id where i will receive the contact information when people will submit the contact form save these changes and close this file now we have all this file just select everything and make a compressed zip file i will rename this zip file as website.zip like this now come back to the web hosting control panel and scroll down here in this files you can see file manager so just click on this file manager it will open a new page here go for this one public underscore html 
like this just click here and go inside this folder here you can see this file default select this one then click on this delete icon so delete the default file now you can see this upload icon over here click on this upload icon and select the file which is website.zip open and click on upload so it is the zip file we have to extract this file so right click and click on extract here in this field just delete it and write a dot because we want to extract this file on the same directory write a dot and click on this button extract then close this pop-up you can see we got all the files here images about page blog contact course PHP file and index.html file and CSS file. Let's delete this zip file. It is not required right now. So we got all the files on our file manager. Now come to the new tab and open your domain name. So the my domain name is skillsico.org. I will write it in my web browser. And you can see we got the website online the same website that we have created on our local computer it is available on this domain name we can click on the other page it is about page it is also perfect the course page then let me click on the blog and let's click on the contact you can see all the pages are working fine on the live domain name let me fill this contact form so in this contact form i will write one name and email id and i will write the subject it is test message and i will write the message please ignore let's click on this submit button and after that this page gets reloaded and the message has been sent so next we will open the email id so let me open my personal email id here so you can see we get a new email let me open this one it is new form submission you can see the email subject is new form submission zero minutes ago it is from the info at skillseco.org that we have added in the php file and we got the information that we have added in the contact form name email id subject and message which is please ignore so right now you saw how the contact form is working we got all the contact form information on our email id let's come back and uh, come to the home page right now you can see in this browser it is saying not secure so we have to add a secure lock icon in this browser so just come back let me come to this control panel and here you can see SSL just click here here you can see a warning pending data entry so just click on this button setup it is your domain name then click on install SSL just wait that's it it is saying SSL is successfully installed you can visit your website here so open this link in the new tab https skillseco.org you can see we got the secure lock icon in front of the domain name so this is how our website looks secure let's come back and close this one next we will create one email id so here just click on this email and click here then scroll down here you can see create a new email account here you can write the email that you want to create I will write info and 
After that, it will be at the rate skillseco.org. Write a new password and click on this create button. We got the email ID here, our professional email ID. You can click here to access your email or you can come here and open this link webmail.hostinger.in Open this in new tab and enter the email id that we have just created. So I will write info at skillseco.org and write the password that we have created then click on login. So this is our email id right now it is blank because we don't have any email so let me click on this compose. So we will send one new email. So I will write my personal email id here and I will write one subject it is test email from skillseco.org and in this message I will write please ignore. Click on this send button. That's it. Now I will come to my email and you can see we got a new email here. Open this one and you can see test email from skillseco.org and the email id is info at skillseco.org please ignore. Now let's check whether we can make a reply on this email. So I will click on reply I will write it works. Click on send. And now we will come back to our professional email id and click on this refresh. You can see here we got the reply. So this is how this professional email id is also working. So in this video we learned about the setting up the domain name and web hosting and how to upload your local website to the online web hosting and we also learned about the setting up the free SSL and setting up a new professional email id. What we can do after publishing the website online, we can submit our website in Google search console and we can also add Google analytics on our website so that we can track how many visitors are coming on our website. We can see from where the visitors are coming, how many visitors are there on the current time. We can track everything. So if you want to learn about this Google search console and Google analytics, you can write me in the comment section. If I will get the 1000 comments on this video about the Google analytics and Google search console, I will make video about it. So please comment it down if you want to learn that also. So I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section and please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.